Good afternoon, it's Tony Hayes again from Palm Investigation UK. Today is the 28th of January 2022 and today we're looking at uh, movie 353 which is the, the chest investigation and this is uh, a piece of footage sent in on the 1st of August 2021 at, um, at 21 in the afternoon. This is an actual Sunday afternoon so in principle um, the building should have been deserted. Nobody actually works at the weekend, certainly not on a Sunday. You can never guarantee that. Um, so we're back into the entry room again, um, and it, it, we're now dealing with the, with the noise again. As a recap, um, we're now, as far as chess is concerned, we're now on uh, volume 22. Um, each volume is around about between 40 and 50 pages, something like that. Uh, so now volume tw 22, that just shows how far and how long we've actually had this case. So so what I actually had is a recap, is following a bit of a flat line of activity between June and July uh, 2021. Uh, there were maybe six or seven events, a couple of them are very questionable, but it seems to flat line. When you're dealing with this type of haunting poltergeist phenomena, you know, flatlining for periods and then uh, either blowing itself completely out or returning and evolving is quite common. So we're now on the 1st of, of, of August. Um, so this particular one is in the empty room and it's a camera that, that's activated. It's this one here, what we call camera one of the empty room. Um, the main office, as you remember, we've dealt with the vast majority of uh, phenomena over the last number of months at the in the empty room. So now we're back into the empty room. So here we are. It's in daylight. So the infrared of the camera has not um, uh, igni uh, switched, turned on because it's daylight. So we're now in full colour. And this will, gives you quite a good visual uh, perspective of the room itself it's difficult to see when it's in grayscale of the infrared so it's a bit built structure uh, outer brick in a uh, breeze block with plasterboard walls nothing in the room whatsoever and the roof itself completely unpanned all these um are girders that's a something like i think i measured it it's a 16 inch main uh supporting beam runs across and all these uh coming off it a steel. There's no wood in there whatsoever. These are air conditioning units, um, very robust, strong room, uh, and the floor itself is concrete uh, with carpet tiles just popped on there. There's the fire door at the rear with the fire door light at the end. Um, the only entry and exit door is on this other side, which is where the curse is moving here. Uh, it's probably about 20 feet further back. So let's have a look at this one, we'll get straight into it. Uh, just make sure all my volumes are turned up, which they are. So I had a listen to this earlier, and we are dealing with another unexplained uh, bang. That one. Now, what this makes interesting is that camera uh, one is there. Sorry, camera two is there. Had someone been banking on the fire escape, this is on the first floor, and there's a set of metal steps that lead down. That camera would pick it up, see, bang on the door, that's the camera that's going to uh, be alerted. It hasn't. It's camera one that's alerted. So the sound's got to be closer to this camera here. Uh, it's a key numbered uh, entry. Uh, into the room and no other cameras um, have alerted so if you look at the empty room that's a fire escape so you actually that, that camera there is looking towards the back of the building there's the door which you need a key code you come through the, the, the what I call the top of the stairwell and then that leads you into this passage here, into the main office area. Here is a camera. I've not actually put it on this drawing. 
because I know in a couple, I think it's in the next couple of days, um, capture footage I've got here around the 1st, it's either one of these 3rd, 4th or 5th of August, where that camera uh, picks up the sensor light that comes on, and that oversees this area here. The reason why that camera is put on there is one, if anyone comes up the stairs, we, that camera picks them up. And likewise, if someone's messing around in the building, if we can't see it on that camera, they would certainly see it, see them on the stairway. So that all the cameras get checked when we see, uh, get, get an alert, just to make sure that we haven't got any human activity there. So with this one, uh, I can say without question that there's no one else in the building, or there's nobody on the first floor, uh, I should say. So the way I'm going to work with this is, those of you will would have seen me do this a few times. Um, oops, where's my file gone? If I three, I'm going to go and have a look at the frequency of this uh, this bang. Um, in twenty. 20, late on 2020, I actually um, went into the building and in the empty room, concentrated on there, and tried to uh, duplicate the sound by other sound signature. Uh, and I managed to do 160 tests on the building. On diff diff it really just, just come down to striking uh, certain parts of the building, 160 of them tests, to compare likewise when we've got these other unexplained sounds that, that, that this this building in particular does tend to throw up, most of them in the main office. So you can certainly see the strike uh, there. So what we'll do, we'll actually go, we're going to just amplify it after the um, that bang just to see if I can hear anybody that's maybe walking about. So I've already turned up now. something there. It's five or six <coughs> sounds there. It's, it's almost like something bouncing. The problem I have with this is it's so far, so low, I should say, in um, in volume. It's going to be practically impossible for me to. It seems to be around about a hundred hertz. So. Hopefully you'll be able to hear that. Yeah, it's getting less there.
Come on, maximum on the uh, on this. But you should be able to hear that. It could be something outside because I'm really have amplified that to death, really. So I'm not sure. It's certainly not somebody walking. I can't be run out. Now, when we have been in this building doing uh, either footage or uh, or audio, when somebody walking about, it's very, very distinctive. Um, it's I made a mistake um, the first time I went in there. I was using flip flops, so you could all you can hear is me walking with these flip flops on. So the cameras are quite sensitive; it will pick up stuff. So I'm fairly relatively confident that whatever's caused this bang. We've got no camera indication to say that it's been there's someone in the building because we've monitored all the speakers at the same time. It's the first thing we look at, or the owner does. And I take his word that he has checked the cameras because, you know, he come back to us quite often and he will debunk stuff. There's literally hundreds of debunks that occur. So this particular Sunday afternoon, we've got this, again, another unexplained bang. Now, what are the relevances to these sounds? I have absolutely no idea. It's one of the baffling aspects of this type of phenomena. Uh, what is the what is the relevance to these sounds? Excuse <coughs> <coughs> me. Right. So, SC. I'm going to turn the volume back down and get a fix on this frequency. Um, I, I should know once to see that if it fits in with anything else that I've seen before. This 800 hertz, those that follow the case, you've heard me mention it so many times. These are multiple reflections. Um, no, relatively no high end frequency. Not an awful lot of bass, really. If predominantly here, then the sounds come kind of reflecting on the probably the, um, the side walls. So I will get a, a frequency hit with that one. Why is the building make such sounds? Um, I spent a great deal of time at the end of 2020 doing these sound experiments, really, just acoustically testing the building. Um, I concentrated uh, predominantly, I'd say 80% of them were done within the ceiling area. And what we're looking for is building settlement, that type of thing. Um, the walls were relatively easy, and because the room is empty, it was a quite a simple uh, test to do to acoustically test the building. Um, they just perform differently. We just got nothing that will match it. So I can't say, well, that's the girl that's been hit, or it's a central heat, uh, not central heating, the, the air conditioning unit uh, cover that's been struck. And I did them at different volumes as well. Strikes were, were, were different uh, in, in velocity. I don't know. The only thing I can actually do with that is uh, do what I've done with the others and simply just record it down as um, as a sound, uh, copy and paste in the um, the actual frequency itself and move on to the next one because I don't know what's caused that. 
because there's no one in the building. The cameras say there's no one in the building. In principle, the sound should not exist, but it does. So we'll. Um, so that's movie three five three, and I'll see you on three five four. Okay, bye.